Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson. In this lesson, we are going to revise how to divide algebraic fractions. Shelley is standing by to explain this to us. Simplify A divided by B multiplied by C. So what do we do here? There are no brackets, so we simply work from left to right. We first divide, then we multiply. Now because we're dealing with our flipping over and multiplying rule, let's create fractions. So it's A divided by 1, divided by B divided by 1, multiplied by C divided by 1. Now we're starting with our divide, and remember we're going to flip over and multiply. And it's always the one directly after the divide sign. So we write A divided by 1. Instead of divide, we now write multiplication sign, and then we flip it over and it becomes 1 divided by B, multiplied by C divided by 1. And now we can simplify this. It becomes AC divided by B. So you see, for algebraic fractions, we use the same principle. Now have a look at this one. Simplify A divided by B multiplied by C. It is different from the last example as these brackets tell us to divide A by the product of B and C. So we can write this as A divided by 1 divided by BC divided by 1. Now when we work this out, we would write A divided by 1. Now we're going to multiply and flip this around, so we're going to write 1 divided by BC. And when we simplify this, we get A divided by BC. These aren't difficult at all. Let's try the next example. Simplify A multiplied by B divided by C. Here there are no brackets, so we just work from left to right. So we write A divided by 1 multiplied by B divided by 1, divided by C, divided by 1. Now, what we can say is, let's just rewrite this, A divided by 1 times B divided by 1. Now we multiply and we flip this around and we write 1 divided by C. And when we simplify this, we get AB divided by C. We have learnt about the flipping over and multiplying rule when it comes to dividing fractions and we've also learned in previous lessons how to factorize and cancel factors. Now let's apply all this knowledge in this next example. Simplify 3n cubed divided by m squared divided by 6m cubed divided by m squared all multiplied by 18m to the power of 4 divided by n cubed. Now I know that brackets are always done first and this is division. So we are going to apply our multiply and flip over rule. So we write 3n cubed divided by m squared. Now we write our multiplication sign and we invert this fraction so we write m squared divided by 6m cubed multiplied by 18m to the power of 4 divided by n cubed. And as you should notice, this is a simple multiplication sum where we cancel our factors, and you know how to do that. Now I'm going to move on to the next example. Simplify x squared minus 4x minus 21, all divided by x squared minus 9, divided by x minus 7, all divided by 3 minus x. Now, what is the first thing we do here? Well, here is our division sign. So let's begin with this rule. I flip over and multiply. So we write x squared minus 4x minus 21, all divided by x squared minus 9, now we write multiplication sign and we flip this over so we write 3 minus x divided by x minus 7. Now let's see what else we can do in order to simplify this further. Look at this numerator here. Do you recognize what this is? 
Yes, it's a trinomial. It is a quadratic trinomial because the highest power has an x squared in it. We know how to factorize this, so let's factorize it on a new piece of paper. Here is our trinomial. Now remember, to factorize it, we write down our two brackets. Now what we are looking for is two numbers that multiply together to give us minus 21 and would add up to give us minus 4. Let's think of some of the factors. We'll start off with a minus 7 multiplied by a 3 because that gives us minus 21. We could have also said minus 3 multiplied by 7 because that also gives us minus 21. But let's check to see if they add up to give us minus 4. Now minus 7 plus 3 gives us minus 4. This seems like the correct option, but let's just show you how this one does not work. Minus 3 plus 7 gives us positive 4. No, we don't want a positive 4. So we therefore know we're going to write minus 7 and a positive 3. But remember, we first write our x in our first place in each bracket, because x multiplied by x gives us x squared. And then we write our minus 7 plus 3. Let's fill that into our fraction. So we have the factors x minus 7 and x plus 3. Now we're going to divide it by our denominator. Now what do we notice about our denominator? It's a difference of two squares. And we know how to factorize that. We put down our two brackets. And remember we're going to have a plus sign in the one bracket, a minus sign in the other bracket. We square root the first term so we get an x and we write that in the first place in each bracket. And then the square root of 9 is 3 and that goes in the second place in each bracket. And now we multiply it by 3 minus x all divided by x minus 7. Now what else can we do? Well, this fraction is in its simplest form. But I can put brackets around the terms in this fraction in order to create factors instead of terms. And this will help me to remember not to cancel the terms. And now we are ready to cancel our factors. Notice the x minus 7 cancels with this x minus 7. x plus 3 cancels with this x plus 3. And we are left with 3 minus x divided by x minus 3. These do not cancel out because 3 minus x is not the same as x minus 3. What can we do about this? Well, we know that we can change the sign. So we can take out the minus 1 from the bracket in the numerator. And this really means that we are multiplying it by minus 1 twice. So we write minus 1 multiplied by x minus 3. And that is all divided by x minus 3. And now notice we have our common factors which can cancel out. And we are not left with a 0, but instead we are left with our minus 1. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about multiplying and dividing fractions on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.